Our final rumor, this is the big one, y'all. <laughs> Our final rumor for this episode is one that's going to break my stinking little heart. Hello, Big Show nerds. We have a doozy of an episode for you today. The rumor mill is jumping, jumping, jumping. So without any further ado, don't forget to click that thumbs up. Let us know that you like what we are doing here. This channel is about to go through a bit of facial reconstructive surgery, but don't worry, the bones are still great. All of that being said, thank you for joining me. My name is Dustin. This is the Nerd News Headlines, and here is an intro. Housekeeping for the episode is as follows. Uh, just doing the push again. Follow me on the socials. Uh, generally nerdy on most things. Generally underscore nerdy on Twitter. Uh, just look for the nerdy, nerdy Ninja. Sorry, words are a thing for me today, apparently. Uh, just look for the Nerdy Ninja, and that is where you will find me. Uh, the other half of housekeeping is, as per usual, shoutouts. So, shoutouts for today are, on Getter, we have Apollo, Miss Katonic, and The Messy Rabbi, uh, a.k.a. Rabbi Jason Durham. Thank you for following, nerds. On TikTok, we have Jacob McCurdy, 735, Art the Clown 14 backup. Art, I know you personally, so rock and roll. Thanks for the follow. Uh, C6969 ad nauseum, uh, Nightingale underscore Jake. Thank you all for following on the TikTok. And on Instagram, we have Greg Arby and Chris Cortex. Thank you, nerds, for joining the show. That is all of the housekeeping and shout outs and all of the things. So here we go, jumping into the episode. TV streaming, let's go ahead first into this one more time. We have follow-ups, first of which being Batwoman. They have officially cast their Pamela Isley, AKA Poison Ivy, AKA Bridget Regan is going to be the actress who plays that character. I really hope they can pull this off. As I, I, I feel like they will do a lot better than they did on Gotham, but that's a whole other video. Uh, let's continue on. Our next follow-up piece has to do with Interview with the Vampire over on AMC. They have just officially announced their casting for Lewis. The actor who's going to play Lewis is Jacob Anderson. You might recognize that name because he was in Game of Thrones. The character he played in Game of Thrones, you might ask, was Grey Worm. Lewis is going to be played by the same guy who played Grey Worm. Right, okay. Uh, that That's a whole breakdown of issues that we're just gonna... <laughs> Scoot on by, shall we? All right, so uh, we are moving next into trailers. We have one trailer for TV streaming, and that is the first mayor of Kingstown. This is the uh, tie-in with Yellowstone, that series that's over on Paramount uh, and Paramount and Paramount Plus. Uh, it is going to be exclusively to Paramount Plus. Jeremy Renner is the lead. It looks like it's going to be pretty good, just like the show that it's coming from or related to or however the freak you want to say those words. Anyway, uh, that is the one trailer we have. And then we have a new piece in the TV streaming area, and that is Bel Air is a new series that is going to be coming that is based on a dark and gritty viral trailer that came out a few months back based on the comedy series from the 90s starring Will Smith called the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Well, they have just now announced the A that this is going to be a thing. I know Will Smith said that he wanted to make it a thing, but just because Will wants it doesn't always mean he Will gets what Will wants. But they have just announced that they have found their young Will. It is going to be a kid named Jabari Banks, which, yes, you heard that right. His actual last name is Banks. Pretty interesting there. Sounds like the kid is a very talented actor and uh, honestly rapper and musician and so on and so forth. So very interested to see how this gritty reboot actually happens. And that is what we have for TV streaming nerds.
going into the movie section, we don't have any follow-ups or corrections. So yay, halfway kind of. Uh, we do have a couple, or we do have a trailer, the new Spider-Man Far From Home trailer launched. I know you've probably already seen it because it launched during the week where I wasn't really doing a whole lot. So everybody has watched it at this point. So I'm not really breaking the news here, but let's get a little aside, a little reasonable real quick. So we know a couple of things about the way trailers work. We know that they cut trailers in a way to make you think certain things. They make it look like Alfred Molina is talking to Tom Holland's Spider-Man. I don't think that's the case. I know everybody has already said that Matt Murdock is in the trailer, you just don't see his face. Totally on board with that. But my hot take is when Alfred Molina's Doc Ock jumps down and says, hello, Peter, he's not actually talking to Tom Holland. He's talking to his Peter Parker because the way they make it look, again, they make things look pretty awesome in trailers, but the way they make it look, looks like this is his introduction to this new world. So how would he know that Tom Holland is Peter Parker, or is, is Peter Parker at all, let alone the, the, the guy who is also Spider-Man? He wouldn't. He would know, though, that his uh, Tobey Maguire Peter Parker, though, is Spider-Man. So unless Tom Holland is already in his spider suit, I'm pretty sure that was him talking to Tobey Maguire. So there you go. All right. <clears throat> Back to the things at hand. That is all we have right now for trailers. Let's talk about news. Uh, we have a uh, reboot for the Rocketeer. This one kind of came out of left field, I'm not going to lie. So the production staff behind this is David and Jessica. I'm going to mispronounce this last name and I apologize. But uh, David and Jessica Oye Lowo. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Uh, please somebody tell me how to say that because that's a cool last name. Anyway, uh, and David is also said to be the one that is going to be cast in the starring role. It is going to be a Lega sequel. They are going to acknowledge the existence of the movie that came out in the 90s uh, that really did poorly. And honestly, I mean, th it, this sounds like a very interesting take and something that fits into this world. It sounds like they're going to do it as a period piece once again. So that all fits. I'm just genuinely interested to see where this goes. And now let's get a little reasonable one more time. This is not a property that a lot of people have really stuck their ground on or the choosing this to be the hill that they die on. I think this is a prime example of a way to reboot a dead franchise and do all of the things that we are want to despise in quote unquote SJW content and still make it seem organic and legitimate and something that the fans can get behind because nobody cares about the Rocketeer. If you can make the Rocketeer awesome and have a black dude playing him, by all means, do it, because nobody's really cared about this character since probably, I mean, even when it came out in the 90s, it was kind of meh. So I hope this works out because this is going to be a blueprint for how to successfully check all of those uh, social justice boxes and also keep hardcore nerdy types engaged and loving the product that you're giving. Now, I know there's going to be some static, but so far it's very little, if any. So hoping that this goes well. Anyway, uh, that is our little aside for that. Anyway, our next piece has to do with Alita Battle Angel. Uh, Robert Rodriguez has said very recently in an interview, uh, you can find a link to it down in the show notes, that he's hoping that all of this work that he's doing for Disney is scoring him brownie points so that he can finally make the sequel to Alita Battle Angel. So th the fire's still going in old Robert Rodriguez. So let, I, let's just hope that that continues to build, shall we? Our final movie piece has to do with the Expendables franchise. We are officially getting a fourth installment. We have the addition to the cast, uh, additions to the cast being 50 Cent, uh, Tony Ja, and Megan Fox. Tony Ja, super martial artist, super excited about him getting this role. Uh, and also returning to, this, to the cast from previous movies, we have Stallone, Jason Statham, Dolph Lundgren, and Randy Couture. Uh, 
very likely we will get more confirmations of casting going forward, but so far that's what we've got. It is actually happening, and they are in early stages of pre-production, so that's kind of exciting if you like your action spectacles huge. Also, to be noted here is that Stallone has said that he is looking to get another R-rated action movie out of this one, so no more of that PG-13 nonsense that we got in the last one. That's all we got for the movie section, though, nerds. Rumor mill. Let's jump into it. All right, so no uh, confirmations, no refutations. We're just hitting hard on the rumors. So coming out the gate swinging, we, our first rumor has to do with the MCU. We have the Illuminati in the rumor mill. That apparently, we are going to be introduced to the Illuminati in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Uh, likelihood for this, I mean, the source is not the greatest, but it is kind of being reported by multiple places. I'm pretty sure, though, they're all using the same source, so I can't necessarily use the shotgun effect that we're getting here to mean anything other than the one guy talks to more than one person. Um, eh, it just seems super... I mean, it's possible. I just don't think multiverse is the... Uh, Maybe it is. We're going to give it slightly above halfway there because I just talked myself into it. So 55% likelihood that this is a thing. Uh, before we move into the next rumor, though, let's get a little uh, reasonable real quick. Reasonably nerdy. Uh, jumping into... All right. So I've heard, again, comics, book, comics gate and Gamergate types saying... Oh, it'd be cool if, it'd be cool if, and then they attach some sort of reference to the original source material. It'd be cool if we got this source material thing or that source material thing. And now that we might be getting something, they're saying, oh wait, the Illuminati, those guys in real life are said to be child molesters. This is not real life. We're talking about comic book movies. Stop trying to poop on everything. I get it. There's a lot of garbage out there and we need to be the ones to be there to sift through it and point out the flaws so that it can get better. Understood. But if this is a thing you've been asking for and you finally get it, don't turn it into something horrible. Okay, moving on. Next, we're talking about the Book of Boba Fett. We are now rumored to be getting another bounty hunter because Book of Boba Fett, it makes sense. We're going to see a few of them. This bounty hunter that's being rumored is Cad Bane. Cad Bane is said to be one of the many bounty hunters that we are going to be seeing in this series. Though, this rumor goes on to say that Cad Bane will be a significant part of this series. Sounds exciting. Uh, this one actually is slightly better than the previous rumor because it does legitimately come from two different sources, so we can go a little higher. Neither of those sources, though, are great, so we're going to go about 60% likelihood. It seems likely, but the source doesn't really mesh. Yeah, so... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, staying in that vein, though, we are going to talk next about the Mandalorian video game. The Mandalorian video game supposedly has just leaked some footage of gameplay that's that honestly looks pretty freaking cool if you want to believe it's actual footage and not just something somebody cooked up in their basement because yeah, that is equally as likely if you're just looking at this trailer. So, uh, also, if you go through and you find some of the people who work for these companies that are in charge of these things and you've seen them break it down and go, wow, that looks really good, but that's not anything we're doing, uh, then you kind of start to realize, oh, this is somebody cooking up something in their basement. Uh, so, honestly, the likelihood that this is a thing, probably pretty low. We're going to put that at about... 30%. I, I honestly, I kind of want to go higher, but that's just wishful thinking. I get there is reason to believe this is very fake leaked footage. Next, we are talking still more Mandalorian news. We have a rumor that season three of the Mandalorian series on Disney Plus is going to be the final season. 
uh, depending on which source, because this one does come from about three or four different sources, depending on which source you hear it from, there is a number of reasons why this might be. Uh, the one I am more want to believe is that this it, that's just the end of the story arc that Filoni and Favreau have put together. It's not the last time we're going to see Din Djarin. It's not the last time we're going to see Grogu. It's just the last time we're going to see them in this series. And then they're going to go off into the other things that they're working on for Disney Star Wars. That kind of makes sense. There are other things that say that pa Pedro Pascal is being a little more difficult this season to work with in that because he's working for HBO doing their Last of Us series and he's getting more money from HBO. And so he has to make find the time to do the Disney work, which seems a little backwards to me. That doesn't seem to mesh well with what we know about how Disney works. But I mean, I don't know all of the details. I'm not behind the scenes. I'm just speculating here. So that one I'm less likely likely to believe. Either way, the likelihood that season three is the last for The Mandalorian, I think there's a strong possibility here. Uh, being as some of this information that has been uh, disseminated down comes from one of the actors, comes from Carl Weathers. So, I mean, he doesn't say specifically that season three is the end, but there's a little bit coming from him there too. So I'm going to put this right about 70%. I mean, there is still a bunch of wiggle room here, but it honestly would not surprise me if that does turn out to be the case. Our next rumor has to do with Harley Quinn. This is a long one, I've told you. This is a long episode, y'all. Uh, so our next rumor has to do with Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn is reportedly getting an HBO Max series in live action. Because we already know she's got the animated one, does well. Honestly, it's a pretty decent substitute for the Venture Brothers. If you're a big fan of Venture Brothers, definitely check out the Harley Quinn animated series because they they go hand in hand. It's it's a pretty good substitute for Venture now that Venture's no more. But, uh, or Venture, just rewatch Venture because it's on HBO Max now too. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, the rumor does go on to say that they do not know who is going to play Harley for the live action series, but they are saying that it is in fact in the works. So likelihood that there is a live action Harley series and that it might not be played by Margot Robbie. That seems a little low to me there, nerds. Um, I just, I can't, what we know of producer types, what we know of the people in charge that don't have any faith in their audience whatsoever, this would do a lot to confuse the audience in their mind, right? Because they think that you can't have Batman on a TV show and then have a different Batman on the uh, big screen in the movies because people won't know which one's real when really they're both fake. So you guys suck. Anyway, uh, it's it just seems like it doesn't go with what we know of how the machine works. So for that reason, and honestly that reason alone, because it's a pretty decent source, but from for that reason, I can't go above like 35%. And I feel like that's even a little high. Uh, moving right along, we have a tech rumor. And we've got some bunch of rumors, y'all. A tech rumor for if you are a GoPro fan, if you have not yet bought your first GoPro and you're waiting for it to be an amazing, one, this might be the rumor for you. GoPro Hero 10 Black is reportedly going to start using a brand new sensor, the GP, uh, what is it called? GP2 sensor. So it's a proprietary sensor, hence GP GoPro. Uh, GP2 sensor is going to be a 23 megapixel sensor and is going to allow for 5.3K at 60 frames per second, which is huge on video side. Uh, that requires a lot of processing power, that requires requires a lot of stuff so hopefully uh, I there the source for this is a new source for me so I haven't been able to like test their track record just yet so I'm gonna give this about a 50% it does seem to be in line with what we already know of the trajectory for GoPro so no reason to not believe it but again new source can't go above 50% our next rumor has to do with cable in the MCU Cable is supposedly going to be coming to the MCU in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, or depending on which version of this rumor you hear, Deadpool 3, which is early in production right now, so maybe? Anyway, uh, so Cable, the most likely here, I think, is Doctor Strange. Um, 
It's the one that's coming out the soonest. I don't think Cable will have any sort of major role here, but I do think there will be at least some sort of uh, passing cameo, even a post-credit stinger that will reference or feature Josh Brolin's Cable. So likelihood for this one, I'm going to put this one at about 65. It's a, That's a pretty conservative number, I feel like, but I, I honestly think that Doctor Strange Multiverse Madness is going to be huge for the MCU. Moving right along, moving right along, we have gaming rumor, kind of. Apex Legends is now rumored to be getting a series over on Netflix. The rumor does not specify if it's going to be a live action or an animated series, though it does seem that Netflix is want to do more towards the animation side of things. Uh, we've seen a bunch of their adaptations, most notably Castlevania, go that direction. So that kind of makes sense. They are trying to do uh, the same similar push to Amazon. Amazon's trying to do that push into the Asian countries. So I'm sure Netflix is on a similar kick. So uh, there's a lot here that kind of says, yeah, this makes a little bit of sense. We don't know where those rights have landed just yet. We do know that there are people trying to buy the movie and series rights to Apex Legends. So uh, if Netflix is the one that has secured them in some way, that would do a lot to legitimizing this rumor, but as it stands, that has not happened. I'm going to put this one probably another 60% likelihood that we are going to see some sort of series on Netflix based around Apex Legends. Our final rumor, this is the big one, y'all. Our final rumor for this episode is one that's going to break my stinking little heart. Mortal Kombat is rumored to be getting a series over on HBO Max, an animated series. This is the second time we've talked about uh, something Mortal Kombat going directly to HBO Max. Uh, this time it is specifically an animated series. It's coming from another source, so it's not the same source that said they're doing something. This source is being a little bit more specific, but the vocabulary is what's breaking my heart because they say that... <sighs> The animated movies, uh, Mortal Kombat Legends, Scorpion's Revenge, and the new one, Defenders of the Realm, uh, or Defenders of the Realm, Battle of the Realms, listen to me, and the animated series. Anyway, Battle of the Realms uh, are not owned by HBO Max, which is why HBO Max is trying to do an animated series. HBO Max is not an entity unto itself. HBO Max is a platform through which Warner Brothers disseminates its properties. It just so happens that it used a name that it owns that has a lot of brand visibility that is not directly related in the minds of the people to Warner Brothers, so therefore they could do th different things. There's, I mean, it's a long, long thing, but they own HBO Max, which means they can put whatever they want onto HBO Max which is why these movies are going to HBO Max. So why? <sighs> because of that, because of that vocabulary, because of that broken nonsense vocabulary, I cannot for the life of me, even though I want this to be true so bad, I cannot give this much higher than a 30% uh, and I think that's even generous. 30% likelihood that we will be seeing an animated series in the next year or two, uh, because again, eventually anything's possible. Long enough timeline, everything is possible. But in the near future, are we seeing a Mortal Kombat animated series on HBO Max? In the foreseeable future, are they going into early stages of production for such a thing? Probably not. And that is the end of the rumor mill, nerds. That does it for this episode of Headlines Nerds. For more in-depth conversation on the nerdy news, other generally nerdy things that I get up to uh, while I'm doing the other things and the stuff and the junk, you can join me on my personal YouTube channel, Generally Nerdy. While you're here, though, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share on all of the big show entertainment media net networks, not the least of which being Faded42. Go check them out on the Instagram and the Facebook because there is some really cool stuff that we're rolling out with as far as fashion goes. So all of that being said, thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget to tune in next time for all that's happening across the nerd world.